Now by default when you purchase your new computer and it has Windows Vista on it, it has you as the administrator account. In other words, there's just one user who can log into the computer. However, if you have other family that's going to be using the same computer or other people at your business, you can go ahead and set them up as a user too, wherein that they can log in under their own username and password and not have access to your account here. For example, to create other accounts, click on the Start button, go to the Control Panel, click on User Accounts and Family Safety, and then click on user accounts or just come over here and click on add or remove user accounts. But let me go on to user accounts here and you can see me. I'm the training account so when I log in I've got my own password only I have access to this account here. Nobody else can see my folders here or my files unless I give them access to it. Come down here and click on manage another account and it lists all the accounts that are available. We have a guest account that I have turned off. We have Dreamforce, Kershaw and Training. Well, what if another person wants to share this computer? Let's pretend it's another family member like uh, Little Billy. Go ahead and click on Create a New Account. Let's go ahead and give him the name on the user screen. So when the computer turns on, you're going to have the three accounts there, Training, Dreamforce, and Kershaw's, and then you also have Billy, or we'll call him Little Billy. Now, do we want him as a standard user or administrator? Administrator means that they have access to everything. They can really get in trouble and help make computers more secure or take change passwords, things like that, where standard can use most software and change system settings that do not affect other users or the security of the computer. So we can just say it's standard because we don't want Billy messing around with more important stuff here and click on Create Account. There's little Billy. If I don't like his icon or he doesn't like it, we can go ahead and select him and then we can go ahead and change the picture. You don't have many pictures here, but you can browse for more pictures. If you've got some on your desktop, double click, like maybe Autumn Leaves. I double click on Autumn Leaves and look at that, that's pretty cool. Now he's got a little picture here for Autumn Leaves. Now I want to have a password for him. I guess I don't have to have a password. I mean, unless he's got brothers and sisters that are going to make a mess of his account. Let's go ahead and click on Create a Password. Type in Password Password again to confirm it and then maybe a hint in case if we forget it to in any case, go ahead and click on Create Password. Now there we go. So when the computer is turned on, whoever gets to it first can actually click on their icon, type in their password, and log into their account. If I want to remove the password or change the account or manage another account like somebody else, go ahead and click on the corresponding links. Let me go back to Billy here. And if I don't like what I see, I can just go ahead and delete his account. And then there were files there that were created as well. So it says before you delete Billy's account, Windows can automatically save the contents of Billy's desktop and documents and so on to a new folder called Little Billy on your desktop. However, Windows cannot save Little Billy's email messages and other settings. Do you want to keep those files or delete them? I'll say delete the files, delete the account. He's gone. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.